Hey friends, quick update. I was able to come out and do my grocery shopping today. Monday is my typical grocery shopping day and so uh, I ran out to Harris Teeter. I tried to go to BJ's. I wanted to let you guys know that they are um, implementing extra measures to keep people safe and they are only letting a certain number of people in the building at a time and so they were lined up outside uh, which is which is fine that's great that they are doing that and taking things seriously um, but I just wanted to let you know and also bring you some encouragement uh, for today um, I am um, hoping that you all are well and and staying healthy um, people inside the store were doing great practicing staying away from each other um, a lot more people had on um, masks or bandanas or some kind of face covering today so I love that people are trying to protect themselves and others and um, so um, you know we are getting through this and this week um, being Easter looks a little different than usual but um, it's okay we can do this and um, we can remember um, Jesus's love for us in fact it reminds me of um, a verse in 1st John 4 it's 7 through 11 it says dear friends let let us continue to love one another for love comes from God but anyone who does not love does not know God for God is love God showed how much he loved us by sending his one and only son into the world so that we might have eternal life through him this is real love not that we loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as a sacrifice to take away our sins. Dear friends, since God loved us that much, we surely ought to love each other. No one has ever seen God, but if we love each other, God lives in us and His love is brought to full expression in us. Isn't that great news? God's love lives in us. God doesn't just have love for us, He, he is love. And so, um, with the sacrifice of his son, his one and only son, he sent to, to live and die here on earth for us. It's good news today. It's such good news today. And we can, uh, we can take that love and live in that love and express that love uh, for others around us and show the world how, um, how much God loves them. So. With that in mind, um, I just want to say thank you all so much for all the donations and all the things that you've been doing to help us love our neighbors during this hard time. We've been uh, giving out gift bags uh, of food for the last three weeks, and this week we're hoping to feed 25 to 30 families. And so this is only possible with your generous do donations. And um, I'm, I'm just so grateful that you guys continue to give. So if you're out and about this week and you uh, doing your essential shopping uh, and you can grab a, a couple of extra things, um, that would be so great. We would we would appreciate so, appreciate it so much as we continue to try to help and love families that um, that are in need. And so if you want to do that, you can um, drop it off at our church office in the Leonardtown Square next to Heritage Chocolate. There's a drop box there in the lobby in the foyer, um, and you can just walk in and, and drop it there. Um, you can drop a message below and let me know um, if I can come do a porch pickup from you. Whatever you need, I'm happy to do it. So thank you all so much again for your generosity, for your kindness, and for um, just expressing the love of God even when times are hard. Be encouraged today. Uh, we are not alone. God loves you. God loves us. And we are going to get through this. Have a great day, friends.